there is a slight chance that if you get older, you will need a total hip prosthesis. Not everybody needs one, but if your quality of life isn't that good anymore because of the loss of function and increase in pain, there is a chance that a total hip replacement could be the solution for you. But what kind of procedures should you take and how long does a total hip replacement last? Well, stay here and find out. Hi, and welcome to Your Physio Online. So today we will be talking about a total hip replacement. In the last few years, orthopedic surgeons use the following different procedures to replace your hip. They can use the lateral procedure, the posterior procedure, or anterior procedure. And all of these procedures have their own pros and cons. And let's go through the different surgical approaches. The lateral approach is done by an incision on the lateral side of the hip. And with this procedure, they need to cut through your abductor muscles of the hip. And these hip abductors are the most important stabilizers of your hip. So they keep your pelvis more stable and cause you to walk straight without a limp. So a longer recovery is probably necessary. The posterior approach is done by a posterior incision, so on the back side of the hip. In most of the cases, the incision is an S-like shape incision. And if they located the hip, the hip is dislocated to the back, causing the posterior capsule to be released. So this means that you can't flex your hip more than 90 degrees during the first six weeks after the replacement. Else, you could be at risk for a hip dislocation. So make sure you listen to your doctor or physio. The last one is the anterior procedure and it's being done the most in the last few years. But this procedure isn't that new. It already existed for years. And one of the biggest pros is that this approach doesn't take down any muscles. And depending on the incision and release of the posterior part of the capsule, you could already bend your hip more than 90 degrees immediately after the replacement. But this depends on the incision and capsule release. So always ask your doctor if you are allowed to flex your hips more than 90 degrees. This procedure is believed to have the fastest recovery. But if we take a look at the recovery in the long run, there isn't a real difference in recovery rate or functional scores. So for the long run, there isn't one approach that stands out. But most important is that you choose an orthopedic surgeon that is skilled in his approach. Some surgeons like the lateral approach and some like the anterior approach more. But how long does a total hip replacement last? First of all, the success rate is around 95% at 15 years after the replacement. And this number could even increase because of the major improvements in the quality of hip prosthesis over the last decade. And where the previous hips could last 15 years, the newest hips are believed to last for over 30 years. So if your hip gets replaced right now, you could probably assume to be the owner of that hip for at least 30 years. And yes, there is limited evidence that you can also run after total hip replacement. Some doctors are a bit skeptical about running after total hip replacement, but the evidence doesn't give us a clear no-go. In a study where they followed 600 people for five years, 23 people were runners, but none of those runners had bad outcomes. And yes, these are small numbers, but what I say, there is no evidence that states that you can't run. All right, I hope this video helps you in making a decision in choosing the surgical approach for your total hip replacement. And make sure you will be needing a good rehab approach afterwards. It's not like you can do everything right after the surgery. Okay, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health, informational and rehab related videos. And if you need help with your rehab after your total hip replacement, consider booking an online appointment with our specialized physiotherapist. This was Arjan for yourphysio.online, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.